Luca Bagazzi. Uh, you are the cinematographer of the movie Youth, and I think anybody who sees this movie is just amazed by the pictorial beauty of every frame. Um, can you talk a bit about that? How, how hard uh, is it that, to make a movie that's so well shot? <laughs> The, the, the pictorial beauty is the, is the beauty of the Swiss Alps. The, mm -hmm. I must be sincere. So the, the weather was beautiful and the Alps are so beautiful. So beautiful sky and beautiful <laughs> the <laughs> landscape. So this is the, um, this is exactly the kind of thing that they would like to avoid because at the, at the beginning with Paolo we say, we don't want to to make blue skies and green uh, and green <laughs> and green everywhere. But uh, it was so beautiful that we cannot go against that. So we accept that. And one of the most beautiful things in Paolo is uh, uh, Paolo and me with him. We are, we are really change our mind continuously because we don't we don't we don't want to have. Uh, fixed ideas about uh, the look of the movie or the, or the film we are going to shoot. Like we, we are suggested and influenced by the, the, the reality. And, and half of the movie is the exterior, maybe a little less than half. But so, so we have to, 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 to make things uh, like they are, real things. And the, the, there was some difficult things in the, the some difficult scene in the youth, especially the the scene at night in the garden of the of the hotel, because if you if you look carefully at the at the scene, uh, the first scene at night, is one of them. Uh, there is a, a rotating platform where the musician play. And this rotating platform is going 360 degrees uh, at night in the garden. So there's no absolutely no space available for the light. And so we have to 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 hidden all the light in uh, in the in the in the in in the scenery. And that was a, a great challenge. And it was possible because uh, this is the first movie that we shoot with. Uh, in digital with Paolo, until now we shoot with film. I'm a f digital fanatic because I don't want to shoot anymore with film. Um, and because there's a lot of, um, of, of, of technical uh, new things in digital that uh, help us, help the director and help the director of photography to be lighter and easier, and everything is going faster, and, 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 and which is strongest sense of reality. For example, we use the red cameras for the movie. We shoot with three cameras, sometimes with four. And red camera is a, has a fantastic device, which name is HDR. The HDR means that uh, you can shoot uh, uh, the A frame. And in a, in a, which is a normal one, and in the meantime, the the an X frame, a B frame, uh, which is darker as much as you want, between two and six stops, and then you can mix the two the two frame in the post production, and that um, is a, is a great improvement because you can you can for example shoot in a, in a day interior without using light if you don't want to use light because you can see inside out outside in the in the same time and that's a great 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 things because sometimes they uh, really I, I can I didn't have the, the the time and the space for using light and natural light is so beautiful that if you don't need to to express particular uh, idea with lighting but if you simply have to do a realistic scene HDR really allow you to 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 shoot in a simple and fastest and much more beautiful way, because natural light is really beautiful. It's better than our fake light. So, <laughs> so this yeah. is a. But shooting with Paolo is a is a is a is a tricky challenge because he um, he really don't know, and I don't want to know where to where the light, where the actors and the camera will be. 
So you, you must be you, like a, as a DOP, are always forced to 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 think about that the the, 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 the the camera could move 360 degrees. So there is no practical space for lighting. You have to, to light through the window or in, at night suspend the light on the ceiling. And so I'm, I'm not shooting, I'm not using light for a single shot. I use light for the, for the, whole, for the whole, whole scene. And then Paolo and the actor are really free to move inside that scene. So that's that all of us to shoot. Uh, that's why we, we, we can easily shoot with two or three cameras in the same time. There's not a light for a specific close up, mm -hmm. for example. The light must be, must be good for uh, every, every place of the, of, the, of the scene, of the ambient. So, wow. so this is a tricky challenge. It's a great challenge. But uh, I like to shoot that way. I, like, I think it's a, is the, is the only, only the only way that I can think about light is now is is using light for the for the for the ambient and leave the actor free and the and the director free to move the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Themat <laughs> uh, thematically, one of the things that um, I love about this movie is that um, it, you know. There's both a surreal quality to it and a realism to it, you know. It's very Fellini-esque in a lot of ways to bring up another great Italian director. Um, can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, the, the, there is a, the, there's a, in the movie there are two, mainly two situations. A, a realistic one, which is the, the, we shoot in two hotels, two different hotels. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the old one, uh, is a Schatzhal Hotel in Davos, which is a very old hotel, and all the rooms, all the dining rooms, all the corridor are in that hotel. And then we mix it in a, with a, with a, with a, with, <laughs> with, with some. I hope that nobody knows that, uh, nobody feel that. But we mix it, that old hotel with a very modern one. Uh, which is in Flims, which is a city not so far from Davos. And this second hotel was a, um, was, was a with, with swimming pool, with um, steam bath, uh, with a, it was a spa. And in this, uh, this second hotel is a very modern one. So the mix between the old and the new is, the, is, the, is, the, is, the, is, the, is the, probably is the thing that you feel with something very realistic and very soft in the, in the in the in the old in the old hotel, and something very modern also in the light in, in the, for the spa and the swimming pool at night, and the garden with the concert hall is, uh, is in the second one. So there's a lot. There's a, there's a lot of uh, LED light. Uh, there are fluorescent everywhere in the second one. So it, it happens in this kind of hotel that there is a modern section and an old section. So we, we, we try to mix them. I hope it works. Nobody knows that. Nobody noticed that. But mm -hmm. they are really two different places. The garden really? seems to garden or the old one, but it was not. <laughs> <laughs> and so right. with Paolo, every time it's a, it's a, there is a lot of challenge. Uh, when we shoot the great beauty, we have a lot of difficult situations. For example, the, the 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 opening party with 300 ex, 300 extras was on the at night on the top of a, of the roof. So I have no space for the light, mm -hmm. and so we have to to uh, always is a big challenge. So using practical lights. Uh, Using things, that, also using light that you cannot you can look at that, and in, in the in the meantime, they are uh, effective light for uh, for the scene. This is the only solution I learned to 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 light ambience more than scene or, or frame. <laughs> right. Um, the other great thing about this movie is that you know it's about uh, artists, you know. Composers and filmmakers and actors, um, you know, it's a it's a celebration of 
art in a way, um, but also shows you the the way that it can, you know, hurt your personal life in some ways, dedicating yourself to art. You know, can you talk a bit about that? Um, David, I will, I will talk about the, the last scene, the, the concert scene at the end of the movie. Mm -hmm. It was a very difficult one because Paula has the, had the idea of shooting with the with the with this white background you know, on on the on the back of the orchestra, and this is, was a, a great idea, but it was so, so difficult to to obtain that that kind of effect because the I, most of the musician were was so was backlighted, and so in that case it was the. Um, we, we use a lot of um, soft light in the back of the of the white uh, background, and so the scene was mostly backlighted. And thanks to the to the to the to the to the, to the HDR and the and the and this kind of fantastic device, we we can in the meantime look at the face of the musician. And look at the and the at, at the at the public in the same time with the same light, mm -hmm. and nothing is overexposed because the the balance between the the background and the, and the foreground is perfect. So, and the camera will will be so so free to move because we use a lot of steadicam movement, especially at the last in the last scene of the concert, but the, for all the movie. The camera is always free to move, and this is the uh, things that I like so much. Because uh, me, as I, when I when I when I when I when I use the light for the movie, I I always think that uh, it like a, like a, the first spectator of the movie. I don't want to be forced to be compressed in my in my movement of camera because uh, like a, like a, like the the people in the theater that needs the I need the 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 the, the urgence to to move the, the eyes and the camera. So I, I don't I don't want to to have fixed the beautiful image. The image in the contemporary cinema must be uh, have have the necessity to leave the camera move freely. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing camera by myself. I'm, the, I'm, I'm not using not, uh, because in Italy all the DOP is going, is is it's only for uh, they 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 put the light and they they have camera operator. I I, can, I really don't understand the way that way to 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 work because uh, uh, doing camera is probably much more than half of my work and and framing is part of the lighting question of the lighting problem. So the, the final uh, result of the, of the image uh, is half and half. It's framing and light. So I don't want to lose the, the also the contact with the actors is very important. If you, if you do camera by yourself, you feel uh, this kind of strange relation between you and non, with, without words, without speaking a, a relation, a strong relation between you and the actors. And I don't want to to lose that kind of uh, that that essential part of my work. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I just want to ask you. Uh, you know, you've worked with Paolo Sorrentino so many times. You're working with him right now on a television show. Um, you know, and he's such a visual filmmaker. Um, you know, what do you think defines that? Collaboration between the two of you. What is it about? You know. So we worked so much together that we don't really we don't talk too much because we really understand each other very 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 quickly. We go very quickly every day. We we shot uh, 50, 40, 35, 40, 50 shot a day. So we don't have really the time to, to, to think about or to speak about this. <laughs> we have to, it's, it's, a, it's an instinctive uh, comprehension very fast, very fast and very quickly. So sometimes I show to Paolo some, some 
different movement maybe of the camera and then very quickly say, okay, that's work uh, and uh, let's go. And, and that's a secret. And if you, if you, sh I, I, I work with Paolo at the end more than one year in my life. So we know each other so well. <laughs> Probably I know, I know better him than my wife. <laughs> <laughs> right. So it's quite easy. It's really quite easy. Because he's, so he's a genius, really. He's really a genius. And, he, and I like him because he's so fast in changing ideas. As soon uh, as soon as he feels that there are some problem in lighting on the on the framing, immediately he can he can change his mind. And he has a precise idea of what he wants, but it's not a rigid idea. It's a very, very, very elastic idea, and that's a that's a secret. It's not a, a maniac, a maniacal director. It's right. really concrete, and this is a great quality because yet yeah, he really very fast uh, change all the things in, 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 if he need. Mm -hmm. Sorry for my bad English, but I think you understand. <laughs> no, I do. Well. Thank you so much, and congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.